What happened to the music? There it is. <laughs> Hello, everyone. It's the Santa Claus parade. Richie. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to my kitchen. <laughs> what are you doing? There's a safari going on in the background. Um, you'll see Menchi on your right if you look closely. Pay enough attention. Oh, they've reversed. Reverse course. Okay, you guys let me know how the music is. I could turn it down maybe one. We have to play music out loud because um, we couldn't figure out how to do it on a laptop. <laughs> Minty! So today we are Team Yellow and we will be competing in the banana bread. Hunger Games! <laughs> the Squid Game. Katniss Everdeen! Katniss <laughs> Menchi is on Ben's team because she's on Ben. <laughs> so we will not be able to change teams. Okay. All right. <laughs> Today is a banana bread bonanza. Look, it actually says that. Nice nails. <laughs> You need to call this stream Banana Bread Bonanza. Okay, well I already named it Banana Bread. Um, so, okay, this is what we're doing today. Thank you guys for attending Simply Stream Saturday. Oh, I can turn it down just by doing this. Yeah. I think the audio is mono. It's only coming in, you have to descale it down. Uh, do you remember how to do that? <laughs> how do we do this, Benji? Oh. Sorry, we're fixing something. Less sound and right speaker. Okay, yeah, that could be a, an issue because we're working on a new device here. Yeah, I think you have to turn it on. On, on. Okay, how's that, chat? Thank you, chat. Tech support. We got tech support in the chat, it's you. Can you hear it in both ears? <laughs> Are both your ears working? This is your doctor. Better? Sounds good now. Woo! Menchie, we did it! Are we loud enough or is it kind of quiet? Are we loud enough? I'm just kidding. All right, we've got a recipe we're gonna follow. Maybe. Whenever, whenever we bake, Christine asks me two questions: Can we put nail polish in it, or can we put tea in it? Or hollow. And today we're putting <laughs> tea in it, not nail polish. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's. Um, I mean, I'll accept. It's my second choice. <laughs> <laughs> So we've done a Simply Bake Logical stream before. If you recall, we made blueberry scones. That was a wild time. And they actually turned out really like good. They looked professional. You even took them on our trip to Toronto. They were so good, we like kept yeah. eating them. They were good. Yeah, so we thought we would do another Simply Bake Logical, um, but this time featuring Ben's favorite fruit, bananas. So we've dressed in yellow to honor the occasion. We've both done our nails to match as well. Show them your nails. Look, look at this, look at this. Menchi. Menchi's even thinking about bananas to suit the mood. Do the match. Okay. Nail, nail game. Show the nails. Where are you going? <laughs> I'm trying to get Wrong direction. What are you wearing, Ben? Uh, banana hacks. Yes. Banana hacks, creme, okay. And I'm wearing uh, frozen bananas, Ben's shade, with Choco Hollow, which is the new brown hollow glitter. And I've kind of done like a chocolate dip on these ones. I thought I was just gonna do the frozen bananas as an accent nail, but then I got carried away and just started putting the Choco Hollow at the tips, and I think it turned out really cool. You should have done a nail art that's like a green banana, a yellow banana, a brown banana, a black banana. All the phases of bananas? Yes. Yes. Too late. <laughs> All right, step one, oven to 350. Okay, Ben is turning on the oven. Step one, oven to 350. We step printed our directions. <laughs> like old people. Why do we print them? It's like printing MapQuest to go somewhere. <laughs> All right, step two, wash your hands. Shut up! <laughs> I gotta wash my hands. Okay, well careful, there's a cat on your back. Okay, I'm gonna wash my hands in this sink. 
There's a sink over here. Look, I'll prove it to you. Okay, no, I'm not gonna, it's not gonna reach and then the water's gonna get on the computer. the cat here <laughs> no we love cat hair in our food it's fine guys put oats in it that, that's a different recipe oh, oh, oh. next what, step what? is the tea okay all right do, step three skip to step three you can do that by the way we also put um the recipe for this that we're following is in the video description box of this stream so you can check it out and make it better than us so there, there's that okay you did step one preheat oven step two in a bowl mashed bananas but I want you to do step tea. three, which is... Well, that's not in order. We're getting wild here. It's it's steeping tea. You add really super steep tea into the banana bread. Mm. But, so we're gonna do this as muffins instead of banana bread, because banana bread takes like an hour to bake. So... And we're not that entertaining for an hour. No. <laughs> also, it's, it's too early to bake, isn't it? It's 11. Yeah, but you're supposed to bake like when you're feeling sad at midnight and you want to eat your feelings. Like I just woke up. No, that's that's mean. A lot of people <laughs> bake all the time out of happiness. Don't listen <laughs> to Ben's that. trauma. Don't listen to Ben. Okay, could you? We need uh, we need some boiled water. Half a cup of boiled water with three scoops. Half Where's the tea? Where's oh, the this. tea? Where's the tea? Trying to see. Oh yeah, sorry. You got it there. I'm just gonna pin this. The tea is from where, Ben? Where's the tea? Smells from? like bananas. Banana bread chai from David's tea. And it's on my Simply's Picks page. David sent it to us. Thank you, David. David, you're the best. Oh, Got another man in my life. His name's David. <laughs> don't, don't tell Ben. Okay. Don't tell Ben. <laughs> right here. Don't tell Ben. I put a link in the chat for my Simply's Picks page where you can find this tea and other teas that I've handpicked and my hollow tumblers that I'm always drinking and my mugs that I'm currently using, the seasonal mugs. And yeah, it's an affiliate page that I am very grateful that David let me have. <laughs> and if you buy four or more items from my page, you get 10% off. So you can buy your Christmas presents and tea. That's what I do every year. Every year when I have to buy Christmas presents, like one of the options that everyone gets is tea. Like no questions. I don't even care if they don't drink tea. I will buy them tea that they can leave in their house. You for like gift the PR. No, not the PR, I buy my own. I keep all the PR to myself, obviously, because I drink and eat it. <laughs> Tell David to ship to Europe. Europe? Yeah, let me just call him up on my phone. I'm magic. David is my first love. <laughs> Hi from Italy. I'm noticing a lot more comments from people like saying they're in Europe. Because eh? what time is it in Europe now? It's all like, of Europe. What time is it in all of Europe? It's a reasonable <laughs> hour in the evening, right? I believe. Because it's 11 a.m. where I am in Ottawa, Canada, which is like the New York time zone. Well, it's what, Saturday night in the UK? What are they, six? Saturday se night. <laughs> na, 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 na. Or seven, is it seven hours ahead? From Turkey, Baking Alaska. Baking on a Saturday night, 4 p.m. in the UK. It's 5, 5 p.m. in Denmark. Hi from Scotland. Hello, Scotland. Bulgaria, Portugal, India. Yeah, okay, so the benefit of doing early, early streams, 11 a.m. my time, is that a lot of people from Europe and UK, etc., are able to join because it's not like three in the morning for them. So mm. definitely listening to some of that feedback, but also knowing that it is impossible to pick a time zone that is reasonable for everyone. Cool, cool story, dog. Okay, what am I doing? Tea, just one cup? Can I do more? No, so it's 
three perfect spoons of banana bread chai tea. Oh, I didn't put enough. In four ounces of 95 degrees Celsius water for five minutes. Okay, I didn't follow instructions. I just. <laughs> you know, b banana bread is one of the easiest things to make. So I feel like I should really just let Christine do this and I'm just sort of so you want the puppet you master. want me to screw up okay all right so we're gonna get a perfect spoon three perfect three that's what I meant look, look do you want to eat the tea yes eat it eat it the tea chat no I'm just kidding don't don't do that eat the tea at your own risk okay I think that's three that's a giant sack <laughs> look at look at that sack of tea. Mm, sack magic. <laughs> look at the sack magic. So Ray Play says, "Will you suck on the tea bag?" <laughs> Fucking weirdos. <laughs> <laughs> when you're done steeping it. Unpopular opinion. I'm gonna suck on this tea bag. Right. Okay, stop, man. <laughs> so it's half a cup of water. <laughs> half a cup of water. Go go go. And then just steepy. Steep the tea. For five minutes. I'll start a timer. Wait, you guys wanna watch it steep? This is the most interesting live stream ever. It's better than watching nail polish dry. It's watching tea steep. Oh, what are we cooking? Yeah. Featuring I Simply Bake Logical <laughs> and Simply Ban Logical. Team Yellow. We are Vote baking. Vote yellow in the chat. <laughs> I'm not done saying my bullshit. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that nice banana chai color. Oh yeah, she's coming through. She's better than food coloring, all natural. In case anyone missed it, we're making banana bread chai muffins that include oversteeped banana bread chai tea. Mm -hmm. And you can find the recipe. Did you put a link in? Yep, the link is in the video description box. And then the tea that we're using, the banana bread chai tea, is on my Simply's Picks page. That link is also in the description box and pinned in the chat. Bananas in the chat, yeah. Team, right. team banana. Oh, also a reminder, please make your tea for yourself. We want you to be cozy. Why didn't you make tea for yourself? <laughs> I'm a failure. <laughs> I want the chat to feel comforted and go make your tea, go boil that kettle, cause it's gonna be a struggle watching me make food. <laughs> So I want you to be well equipped to relax and not be stressed because I know last time during Simply Baked Logical People were stressed that like I don't know what I'm doing and they were pointing it out. No, no do this do this and I'm like Thank you. I, I I'm sorry Christine's nails are so pretty today. Thank you a eh? <laughs> What's on my other hand? All right, we need banana the banana, où sont les bananes? Banana. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> wow, Ben, what is that? Wonderful banana hacks. Here we have the evolution of bananas. Uh, not quite ripe. Ripe. Overripe, but not rotten enough. Nail polish. <laughs> That's how we make banana hacks. These, <laughs> no. these bananas just ultimately turn into this. No, not, no. <laughs> Can you please put some nail polish on it? On what, the bananas? <laughs> That's a strange banana right there. Have you ever painted a banana with nail polish? Yes. Why are you acting mad? Because you were there. Remember we painted with are we like fighting? black hollow? <laughs> I took a picture once of it. Why did I do that? I'm trying to remember which video was that for, but now I don't think of, I ever published it. But, I remember painting I a banana with nail polish, and I don't remember <laughs> I why. I think I did, and I thought it was gonna be for a video, but then I never ended up posting it. Uh, May Navarro says, what kind of banana you like? So like Christine, on the spectrum of green to rotten, what is your banana preference? This one. You like this, you like them this uh, yeah. ripe? Like yeah. they're starting to ooze. Well, it depends how you consume them, but I put them in a smoothie, so I like them like this, because then they're like sweeter and mushier. But if I'm eating yeah. a banana, I want it one level down. Like it's, that's just too expert level okay. for me. Too for baking, smushy. it is said that you want to use bananas that are like. It is said. It is said. <laughs> People have said Sola 
An old wives tale said that in baking you want the oldest bananas to have ever graced this earth in history. <laughs> yeah. An old wife once told me to use black bananas. What's an old husband's tale? Uh, they didn't the tell any stories, only wives. The wife was all happy life, happy wife. <laughs> okay. Have you ever met a guy who actually thinks that way? Like, oh, I'm, I'm scared of my wife. The secret to a happy marriage is to just let her get her way. Everybody loves Raymond. I think everyone has an uncle like that. But it just makes me so sad that like people actually exist in relationships where I guess they hate their partner. Okay. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> you trying to tell me something? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm trying to tell you that I don't feel that way at all. Okay. So when I've met men who express to me like, uh, it's always good to just not tell the wife things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm always like, look at them like they're fucking insane. My dad. Chat's like, yes, every man over 40, my dad. Unfortunately, <laughs> everyone at work. <laughs> everyone knows a man who's that fucking annoying. <laughs> it's like, or or when, uh, when guys like make jokes about like, you know, they've been with their wife so long, it's boring. And I'm like, I'm good. Well, I'm anything but boring. Have you seen my nails? <laughs> I'm just posting my W's Ben, here. it's too early to get this deep. Okay, what, what is the step? <laughs> What's the next step? I'm mashing three bananas, right? In a bowl. What's that? <laughs> Wait, <laughs> That's for the tea. What's the timer for? The tea's oh, been the steeping tea. five minutes. Okay, but it can steep long. Can you turn it off? Oven is at 350. We're kind of taking our time here. In a bowl, mash three bananas until smooth. Let sit and contemplate the meaning of life. Some deep banana bread. Mm -hmm. My uncle will introduce his wife as his first wife. <laughs> I mean. Wait, does he have more than one wife? Because if so, then he, that would be, that would make sense. Is he Cody from Sister Wives? <laughs> Is, you, is your uncle on a national television show called Sister Wives? <laughs> Good lord. See, these bananas like aren't quite ripe enough. They should be like super... They're not quite easy the enough to Here. match. Sorry, I was featuring the tea. Show them. There's not much Show to see them. here. <laughs> No, only one wife. He's also 70 and a farmer. <laughs> what okay. kind of farmer? Is he a soybean farmer? Oats farmer? Remember at Sophia's wedding, I was, Julie and I were trying to convince people that we were soybean farmers when we were meeting random relatives. Maybe I shouldn't talk about that. Anyway, never mind. Soy, <laughs> who's a farmer? Okay, this is that. Um, the next stream will be just me. <laughs> The right. Y2K of soybeans. Okay, that's enough. Uh, mix the bananas. Let's sit. So I've steeped the tea, the banana bread chai tea. Strain into a measure. Well, we don't need to strain it because I use the tea bag. Duh. All right. Bananas in a separate bowl. Dry ingredients. So we, we can basically leave this. Yeah, in a separate bowl, mix dry <gasps> ingredients. I would just let the tea steep yeah, all yeah, day long. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's all good. Yeah. Wasn't me. Okay. Okay. Um, dry ingredients? Dry ingredients. What does that mean, Christine? I don't know. Where does it, <laughs> does okay. it tell you which I'm, ones are I'm wet? I'm letting Christine try to decide which of the ingredients are dry. dry. <laughs> Chat, help me out here. Let's do a poll. Okay. <laughs> which of these things are wet and dry, Christine? Water. <laughs> wet. <laughs> wet, okay. Uh, Wait, we need to take notes because we gotta mark which <laughs> ones are dry. Christine, the dry ingredients are always just like the flour, okay, salt, but like, sugar. I feel like you're trying to trick me. Okay. Okay. Bananas are wet. Egg is wet. <laughs> Vanilla extract is wet. Canola oil is wet. Sugar is dry. Well, uh, right? Is that a no, dry No, but ingredient? you probably add the sugar. Here okay, right. well, how am I just. <laughs> Oh, it tells you Flo what the yeah, dry ingredients Yeah, just flour, are. baking powder, and salt. The so, sugar is so usually added lied. with the wet. It's not all the dry ingredients. It's just the flour, baking powder, and salt. Okay, can you do that? Jesus 
Sugar is wet? Sugar is wet? Why is all of chat saying sugar is wet? I don't think so. It's not very wet. I touch it, it's dry. Why did you touch it? I'm just saying, if I touch it, it's dry. It's like salt. Wait, are you telling <laughs> me that salt is a wet ingredient too? <laughs> the, the whole chat is sugar is wet and then just one, Menchi is hairy. <laughs> <laughs> Menchi! Guys, Menchi? sugar is dry. I don't know what what drugs you're on, but. Is it dry ingredient? Okay, he wants me to do something? Mix the dry ingredients, which is only limited to flour, baking powder, and salt. <laughs> We've got flour, dressed on team yellow. Um, um, how much? One and a half cups. <laughs> Xyler is thick, yeah. <laughs> One and a half cups. Oh my god, my nails are gonna get gross. <laughs> she was eating something? Challenge that. Okay. Oh, oh, no, 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 here. What do you, how much are you trying to do? <laughs> One and a half cups. Okay, so you don't, you, this is for wet stuff. How, why? It's glass. Okay, but like. How, how is this for wet stuff? You need what, a cup? <laughs> what the fuck? This is for measuring out liquids. This is for dry. Why, does one only hold liquids? They both hold liquids. In theory, I could put flour into either of these. Exactly, so what's the problem? Oh my god, there's so many rules. <laughs> this is gonna be rough. <laughs> you told me to try instructions. Okay, how, how much, how much? One how and much? a half cups. One and a half, where's my half? There's a quarter, you could use this twice. Here's a quarter. There's no half cup? I don't know. We're, oh, we're using it for Menchie and Zyler's food. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, here, you do it. You're doing it. Okay, well, I was use the wrong cup, because that won't matter. Oh. One and a half. Sugar is wet? Yeah, so, people we're still are saying we're amateurs. You should be using a scale for dry. I only whoa, have... Whoa, 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 hold on. Hold on. What people usually do is like, you can level it off so you it's actually It's basically know. a cup. <laughs> okay, just go. <laughs> okay, Those I'm are not crazy. <laughs> Doesn't matter that much. Okay, and two of these. Yes. Can everyone who doesn't bake give me some support? <laughs> I'm on the no bake squad. Okay, here. <laughs> Why is it stuck? Here you go. Looks like a snow day. This is what my boots looked like when I was in elementary school. They got covered in snow. Stuck in snow on the inside. Okay, that was about 10 minutes just to do the flour. Okay, well we're not done Let's with this. Let's see the... if we could do the other dry ingredients ba a little Baking faster. powder. Mm -hmm. Two teasp. Two teasp. Okay. Do you have the teaspoon? Baking magic. Ooh, guys, it's magic. It's magic and it's not even hollow. <laughs> what is that for? Toast? How many spoons? Two. But a level it, level it. Let me level with, with you. Like you this? You could use a butter knife if you want. Why? This is basically like, that's fine. <laughs> right? No, Levels, that le looks like no? less than a... Can I just, here. That's here. fine. Christine. <laughs> it's yellow. Whoa. You'd be a good, um, I was gonna say drug dealer, but I was thinking more like pharmacist. <laughs> Why are all the ingredients in yellow containers? Did you do that on purpose? You buy the yellow brands? Yeah, I bought only the yellow brands. <laughs> I couldn't find the yellow salt. <laughs> no! <laughs> uh, okay, and the salt. salt. Salt is next. That is the salt. Okay, yeah. How much? Half a tisp. Half a teaspoon. We'll just use half. Step four. 
Step five in a bain marie. Who? Or microwave melt a tablespoon of butter. What's a bain marie? What is that like a French thing? What the fuck is a bain marie? It literally says bain, like bain. <laughs> I just realized. <laughs> no, bain in French means bath, and marie is like. A girl's name. I'm sure it's like just like a little saucepan thing, but uh, French people, what's a bain marie? A tap sink. It's a double boiler. It's when you temper it over boiling water. It's a uh, double bath, a water bath. No one needs to do that. A bain marie. <laughs> a bain marie. We're gonna do a bain marie. So Christine, I need to. Have you ever seen that on these butter sticks? Yes, I feel like you've taught me this before. It shows you how much butter you can eat. Yeah. Yeah. So it says if you eat this much bed butter, you're okay. But if you eat this much butter in one sitting, you might be sick. That's not what it says. It just <laughs> says like how many tablespoons or whatever. Yeah. No, it's recommended only eat six tablespoons of butter That's a day. That's not what it says. Do not eat six tablespoons of butter. Okay. Do we only need one tablespoon of butter in this whole recipe? Just microwave. Someone in chat says. Yeah, yeah, just I know. Just microwave it. Okay. Okay. Thank you, because I'm not taking a bath. And we're not having anyone named Mary over. <laughs> What's this? A little Petri dish. All right, one tablespoon, right? One tablespoon. Just a single tablespoon. Using a bain-marie is so extra for banana bread. That's right, Sylvie. We're not, we're not gonna do it. We're beginner level banana bread. So you use like the lines to know how much to do, right? Yeah, that's a... Useful hack. Sticks of butter are smarter than they look. There you go. That's a tablespoon, right? You love this bowl because it's perfectly round? Okay, chatter. <laughs> what bowls aren't round? I mean, I guess that exists, but most bowls are round. I hope you get some bowls for Christmas. <laughs> 20 seconds in the microwave? Okay. Not even. It's already like very room temperature, so it won't take long. What's oh, what's next? Uh, melt one tablespoon of butter, remove from heat, and then mix in honey and tea concentrate until combined. So in that, or in what? It has to be in the, probably in here, right? Yeah, you want to take the tea bag out? Okay. Take the tea bag out. Yeah, I guess there's there's tea and honey in this that maybe make up for the lack of butter. Yeah, it's like healthier. So <laughs> it's move very healthy. This for a second. Okay, so we've got the tea. We've got the tea. So honey and tea concentrate. How much honey? Uh, a tablespoon of honey. Honey. Honey, honey. From... Starring Jessica Alba. No. Honey from <laughs> Farm Boy, which is a store in Ottawa, <laughs> but no one else will. It's the Farm Boy how, how much... way. How much honey? One a tablespoon? Ta Can I just use this? No. You could use a tablespoon. But I don't want to get it sticky. <laughs> sticky icky. Okay, so like all like this? Like on the chat's no backseat baking. Yeah. Do you remember how much of a hard time chat gave me about the blueberry scones and they turned out perfectly? Well, is that because they told you what to do that was better? No. Oh. I don't know. I'm Switzerland on this one. <laughs> I am Swiss cheese. <laughs> spill the tea, Christine? I will. I will literally spill it next. Oh, you should make I thought you were going to mix it in the tea one. Oh yeah, I thought I was too. You could it can fit in the bowl. I think just maybe. Do you have a tiny whisk? No, no, no. Oh, you need a whisk? Like no, those are giant. Careful! Oh my god. <laughs> You're like a machine. <laughs> Careful, 
it's spattering everywhere. Oh my god. Ben! <laughs> Okay, okay, stop, stop, stop. Who needs a kitchen aid when you have a bain marie? Ben, it's spattering. <laughs> it's all over the counter and probably us. Oh my god. <laughs> Tyler! Tyler's looking for it. He's licking butter off the floor. <sighs> we just cleaned the kitchen. <laughs> ben, there's like little butter spats and honey everywhere. And my new computer! Okay, now what? Everything is okay. It looks so good. Look at it. It's like whisked. Yeah, I don't know if that was the point, but okay. It looks like yummy and like a frothy layer. Like I would just do a little. All right. <laughs> do we have another bowl? Um, bowl for what? A bain marie. <laughs> In a large bowl, mix egg, canola oil, vanilla extract, and whisk. So can we just use the dry bowl or no? We can't. Mm, no. Okay, you need another bowl? I guess so. Yeah, just get the big one. So mix eggy, eggies. All right, let's see Christine crack an egg. Crack an egg on my head, let the yolk fall down, let the yolk fall, you know that song? Nope. Okay. You don't know that song? That was like the song of childhood. Of my nails though. <laughs> Could you crack? So what do I do? Just like put the whole egg in here? Have you ever cracked an egg before? Well, sometimes they ask you to only put the whites. <laughs> Got to do it with confidence. Confidence. We just want the egg, not the shell. Ew. All right, one egg. How much oil? Third of a cup canola oil. Ben is a chef. I am not. <laughs> okay. Whisk until combine another whisk. Good lord. Do we need to use this whisk? Shh, uh, I don't like the red one. Why? We have against red whisks. And wait, what else? So egg, oil, and vanilla egg. extract. Vanilla. Oh, I know what this is. I use this stuff so much. It's so good. I like, would drink it. It's gross. <laughs> dare you to drink it. No. I put so much of this when I make smoothies. You know how you're supposed to measure this out with a teaspoon? I literally just go like this. <laughs> and in my oats, too. I go like this, too. I don't measure it, by the way. And in your oats. What, what is this? It's a banana. Does, does chat want to see my banana gear? Or wait. <laughs> Can you lean over? <laughs> Do you like my banana necklace? Wait. I'm gonna go in the eggs. But I, <laughs> Don't, get out of there! <laughs> I also, wait. I also have banana earrings. It's a sexy banana look. And did we see my hair? Oh, well, watch out. <laughs> I'm going in. <laughs> this is what we're eating tonight. They like it, they like it. Thanks guys, I tried. Did I you add the up. vanilla no. extract? How much? Uh, one tablespoon, T teaspoon, teaspoon, teaspoon. Pick one. Oh, I know how much you love it. Rika says, so it's really Christine who is into bananas and not Ben. You finally figured it out. Well, I only like you for your name. So yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> banana. I was like, yeah, that sounds like a good guy. Well, you're only with me because my name reminded you of bananas? Yeah, I was like, Ben, that reminds me of bananas. I like bananas. Let's try this one out. <laughs> Good. I have banana jewelry. That's you know? reassuring. Uh, okay. All right, whisk until combined. This is a big bowl for a little egg. 
Yo, it's the same color as my hoodie. Wow, it looks like slime. Now what? Now, you combine all the wet stuff. So, the honey butter. So the, the dry sugar? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, when do you add the sugar? <laughs> Hold on a second. What? What? This, what? This recipe calls for half a cup of sugar. And it never says when to put that in. Chat, has anyone else looking at this recipe and the link we have? It never says when to put the sugar in the recipe. Maybe Am I crazy? sugar's a dry ingredient and we should have put it in when- No, 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 you, usually, usually you'd put it in with this wet stuff, but it never says anything about the sugar. Put it in with eggs. Well, that's right now, right? So we would put the sugar in- Sugar into the wet. Add sugar to eggs. Okay, yeah, most so we of, should, okay, so most this of recipe has a typo. This recipe's canceled. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> We're gonna fix this recipe, just like I fixed Snapchat nail hacks. Are there any other ingredients that never says to add? Follow. So half a cup of, add half a cup of sugar here. If we fuck up, we- We're, we're improvising we at this are, point, We have guys. been led astray. We have no proper direction and there's nothing that can say what will happen now. <laughs> <laughs> Without instruction, I'm off the rails. Oh, there's the half cup. Oh. How much sugar though? Are half we, a cup sugar. Are we even sure that it's telling us the right amount of sugar? Half a cup? Okay, give me. Keep guys, it. we're off the rails at this point. Who knows? Are we making banana bread or are we just making Sugar bread. We'll find out. Oh, this sugar is so wet. <laughs> is it too wet to handle? I have to shovel that's, this see, wet that's, sugar. That's not level. Oh, is well, it? it's hard then to <laughs> do this. Okay, good enough. Okay, add it, and then we gotta so whisk that. Add it with the eggs to dissolve, yeah. Oh my God, now the sugar's wet. Oh my God, now it's wet. All right, it's mixed. We add the bananas. Yeah. And the butter honey. And this guy? Yeah. Ooh, guys, this is exciting. It's the moment of truth. The tea, tea mix, right? We're adding the tea and this the honey. Tea. Wonderful. Oh. oh, this smells so good. We didn't even cook it yet. <laughs> All right, that's mixing together easy. <laughs> Someone yelling in chat, it is soluble. The sugar is soluble, that's why it's wet. <laughs> well, isn't salt soluble? <laughs> that's a good point. I gotta go back to grade 10. <laughs> Gotta go back to AP chemistry for this. Please mix more. Okay. Chat said that. Don't need to over mix. I'm gonna mix all my nail polishes together. <laughs> what color does it make? What color does sugar and flour and baking soda and honey and tea make? All right. Slowly add the dry ingredients into the wet ingredients. Fold until just combined. Do not over mix. Okay. Okay, we gotta fold some laundry. Ready? So. D okay, chat's already warning us. Do not over mix, do not over mix. Wait, am I supposed to use this or do I use the spatula? Uh, you could probably start with the whisk and then we'll use the spatula. But you the, should mix wait, the dry. Wait, is this mixed? Now chat's saying mix. Okay, the ch it's okay. <laughs> Everything will be all right. <laughs> Technically, you want to sort of aerate your dry ingredients, right? Aerate. Okay, so can hey, you- You know what I want to do? You know what I want to do? No, where are you going? You know what I want to do? Add cinnamon? That's not in the recipe. Spatula, they say spatula. Ben's instincts are spot on. He's a natural baker, says Sheena Talks. Sheena, Sheena Talks? Sheena's right. <laughs> You're a natural baker? Yeah, I'm an unnatural. We're just gonna go a little improvise here. <gasps> you're 
You put it in the dry. Are you saying cinnamon is dry? <laughs> well, it's soluble, so I don't, I don't know. Well, I mean, if you try the cinnamon challenge, most people would agree that it's very dry. Okay, they said spatula. No! Woo! <laughs> well, I was gonna smack you with this, but then I realized it's wet. Someone says sifted will get clumps. I'm okay with a little clump. A little clump clump. Yeah, clumpy, chunky banana bread. Okay. I like that. Okay, just a little bit. No, just you gotta mix it in the wet. I'm gonna slowly add it. You mix it. Do I it. take this out? Sure. You can use the spatula. The counter's dirty now. Okay. Are we doing good? <laughs> Chad, help me. Chad, no, you're going too fast. Okay. Okay, make sure you get all the sides. Team yellow, go team yellow. We're on like, we're, this is a reality show. <laughs> but we're the only couple competing. So we will automatically win. Go team yellow, go. Okay, oh, remember we're wait, not wait, over no, mixing, no, I'm, right? I'm using chat to, to call a lifeline. Um, fold, do not mix. Folding. Guys, look, I'm folding your laundry. Okay. Did you do that today? Fold your laundry. <laughs> okay. Can't, don't like pour it right in front of my face. <laughs> Guys, am I doing good? Wonderful. Thank you, chat. Simply trying. Aw. <laughs> so remember, you don't over mix. Okay. You gotta just like. You know, sweep around so you get the dry bits. Wow, it smells great though. Chop, 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 chop. Okay, I think this is good, right? It's not over mixed, but like, looks good. I don't want over mixy. Just as long as you, you don't want to be able to see any flour, like any, there shouldn't be white pockets, but other than that, don't over mix, okay? Good thing I don't like flowers. I don't want to see any fucking flowers. <laughs> okay, there. That looks All great. Right, show them. This is probably enough. Guys, guys, I'm doing great. Okay. Here's another uh, choose your own adventure part of the recipe, okay? It says uh, optional, carefully fold in your favorite add ons. What's our favorite add ons? A browser extension. What add ons? <laughs> I have chocolate chips. What about cocoa nibs? Walnuts or banana chips. By Simply Neological. <laughs> yeah, that's the same fucking logo. They, they stole my font. I'm suing them. It's basically the Simply Neological's <laughs> <laughs> banana chips. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, would you buy? I forgot to tell you that I started a banana chip line. <laughs> so I, I think the the adult answer is walnuts. But I think look, my look my the banana. my inner child says chocolate. This is the real evolution of banana, from alive to dead dried chip, <laughs> <laughs> baked in crunchy. <laughs> okay, I want cocoa nibs though. Cocoa nibs? Yes. Oh, why would you do cocoa nibs? Because they're delicious. Look, I love these. I put them in smoothies and oats. Cocoa nibs. So can we? No, no, no. no. Hold on a second. No. Chat. I feel like the nibs might just stay way too hard. But that's good, it gives it a little bit of crunchy crunch. No, but I don't wanna bite into a muffin and like you don't wanna... make my tooth hurt. Why? Can we do a poll for chocolate chips or walnuts? Okay, hold on. Well, let's do a poll, Chad. We're doing a poll. Give me a second. Just chocolate chips? What are the options? Yeah, pe people are uh, very chips. much not in favor of the nibs. Banana chips. No nib zone. Cocoa nibs. No. Cocoa nibs, vote cocoa nibs. <laughs> <laughs> or banana or... chips on top. You wouldn't mix a banana no, chips walnuts. in. Oh, yeah, 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 walnuts. Okay, ask your community, I've asked. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there's a poll in the chat. There's no both option. You have to pick your favorite child. Yeah, but we might decide, because you know, we're the researchers here, we can decide how we want to interpret the results. 
We might decide to use the top two <laughs> if we feel like both. Let's get it. Vote, vote, vote. Exercise your right to vote in our chat. <laughs> I haven't heard of Pokemon Go, but I've heard of Pokemon Go to the polls and vote on them, what we're incorporating in these banana muffins. <laughs> okay, most of chat is saying chocolate chips. Chocolate chips. And walnuts. Why no cocoa nibs? <laughs> <laughs> All I want is co healthy cocoa nibs. Mm. Chocolate chips for the win, baby. What about banana chips? You can put some on top. Can I? Yes, <laughs> whatever you want. What do we think, half half a cup? You can end the poll, like there's no, no there's, contest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No electoral college the, here. This the is results are definitely vote. not too close to call. Oh, what do we think, half a cup? Well, what are you doing there, man? Let's just do half, half a cup. We don't need a ton of chocolate chips. Ooh, Chad, look at these choco chippies. Choco hollow. Look at this choco hollow. <laughs> In the bananas, it's literally my nails, but baked. Wait, can we put walnuts in now? Uh, maybe we put a few walnuts on top? And a few little coconuts on top? <laughs> this is not a relaxing live, but I'm here for it. What does that mean? <laughs> Basically, Ben is not relaxing. I know, I, I get it. I wish I was on vacation, relaxing on a beach somewhere. You're supposed to coat the chocolate chips in flour so they don't sink to the bottom. Guess we'll find out. That's what Katie the Mod says. Ben! You like the, the chocolate on the bottom? You just get like this, this level of chocolate at the bottom you eat? It's amazing. At least we can blame Ben, because like, how was I supposed to know it, this? It's gonna be okay. Okay, what do we do next? Uh, I think that's it. In a banery. Oh no, that was step five. That's it, we're step eight. Slowly add we the dry it. ingredients into the wet mixture. We're done, we're done that. Optional, done okay, okay. Step eight, pour into a buttered loaf pan and bake for 45 to 60 minutes or until the cake tester comes out clean. But unfortunately, we are going rogue and we are making muffins instead of loaves. <laughs> so yeah, instead of a, a, a banana bread would take like 45 minutes. I want to say this will take like half of that time. Does anyone know? Are there any bakers in the chat who are just like screaming at their screens right now? But who might be able know. to help us? You can, if you're screaming at your screen right now, you can, you can relax. <laughs> How about that. Okay. Well, I mean, I, whatever. <laughs> I was just asking if you take a recipe and you know how long it takes to make it as a loaf. If you do math, how long does it take to make it as muffins? So people are guessing 18 to 24, 20 to 25, 25-ish. That's probably a good guess. I would say 20 to 25 is when we'll start checking it. Okay, why don't we like move these nasties? All right, Christine, you get to do the scoop. Do I, do I use a perfect scooper? What is this? This is for ice cream. Sure, let's go crazy. Why would you do this? What is this? <laughs> Why, Ben? Why? Just use a normal spoon. No, it's easier. That makes easier? it consistent. Yeah. So weird. It's probably the right amount. Yeah. It probably doesn't have to be too, too. So you use the thumb. You use that. <laughs> Guys, I'm great. I wouldn't overdo more than that, though, eh? Stuck. Use the thumb, Christine. I am. You didn't move it at What all. do you think I'm doing? I'm pressing <laughs> it. It's going like this. Goodness gracious. Go have a bye, Mary. Bye, Mary. Oh, papa donne moi la poulet. Bien là là. Je suis désolé. Jusqu'à ici là avec tes cochons yeah, no, de là. Arrête là, arrête. Sorry, you're, I think you're filling them too much. Oh. They can't be up to the top. That's they very need, full. They need room to rise. They need room to grow, just like my nail polish collection. <laughs> if you just put things in simple terms, I understand, you know, then I would get it. <laughs> We're well, so gonna have to take some out of the other ones. That's fine. 
Yeah, la la. <laughs> this How is are you so bad at this? What do you mean? I'm trying to, look, I can read chat and pour this at the same time. Ready? Fill the cups three quarters of the way. Yeah. That's, that's what I'm doing. Increase oven by 25, what? Oh, is that true? Watch the nails. I'm watching the nails. Don't get my frozen bananas in my heated banana. What happens if you put frozen bananas in the oven? What, nail, nail polish? Or actual frozen bananas? Like actual frozen bananas. Why are you, use your thumb. <laughs> Christine, you're killing me. Use the scoop. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll fill the babies up. The little babies, they don't have enough. They're going to be huge bananas. <laughs> Yo, I love me a big muffin. That's how they taste better when the top is like overgrown and encrusted. So, <laughs> use the thumb simply. You use that. I, what do you think I'm literally No, but literally you, you're doing? just dumping. Okay. Sometimes I use the thumb. Sometimes I, okay, it, I can't reach. My thumb is too small. I need a bigger thumbnail. Do you guys no like more, the no thumbnail more. for this video? Okay, Chris, we don't need one. Why? I'm making them even. We have more to go around though. Okay, that's fine. What am I gonna do with, don't waste this. Okay, we can always do a second batch if you want. This baking is not logical. <laughs> All right, oven. Okay, put it, oven. In, put it in the oven. One last look. Some of these are too full right. for sure. <laughs> Wait, do we put garnishes on top? Oh yeah, yeah, what, what do you walnuts. wanna, okay, you want walnuts on? And banana chips. And coconuts. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what if you do like three with? <laughs> yeah? It's really loud in my mouth. It sounds like broken glass. Can I just give like one, like this? Yeah, okay, let's try. <laughs> <laughs> let's try three with banana chips. Okay. Let's try. Cocoa nibs, cocoa nibs. Okay. I'm making my own. Do three with cocoa nibs. Won't they burn, asked chat? I don't know, I guess we'll find out. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> and three with some extra chocolate chips. Oh boy. It's a Franken muffin. <laughs> Just have fun. Thank you, Rachel. This is the kind of words of encouragement we need. Just have fun, put whatever you want on. Yeah. Okay, pick your player. Which uncooked banana bread muffin would you have on your team? Now, now they go in the oven. <laughs> you... So it's like, yes, they will all burn. <laughs> <laughs> Can you open the oven? Top layer? Hot in the oven. <laughs> okay, how long now? Is it ready yet? <laughs> okay, what's gonna burn? Well, the chocolate chips are gonna melt, so that's good. The banana chips might burn, but they're already like kind of dried, so that what is whatever, you know? <laughs> I'm hungry now. <laughs> the one with the banana chip on top, the banana chips will probably just turn to burnt crisps. <laughs> Right? I'd still eat it. Like, what would you do then? Would you just put like a glaze? Would you need to put like egg wash or something no, on the banana? No, you would just chip? add it after. Oh. Did Linda you... Peasley, y'all are stinking adorable. Thank you, Linda. I, I mean, I don't mm. smell, but maybe Ben does. Linda Peasley. <laughs> Sounds like a Jane Austen, like Pride and Prejudice. Oh, Mr. Darcy, meet Mrs. Linda Peasley. 
Oh, you could use egg wash or powdered sugar or add it in halfway. All of these logical conclusions from people who sound like they know what they're doing in the kitchen. Should have listened to them. <laughs> powdered sugar would stop it from burning? That doesn't, really? Maple butter. I love maple butter. Do we have any maple no. butter? No. <laughs> it's not the season, it's not the harvest. We gotta go in March, get that maple butter. Canada knows what's up. Vermont also maybe know what's up, but the rest of America probably does not know what's up because they buy corn syrup. Maggie says, wait, Christine, can you show your nails to the camera? We didn't see them up close. Yes. Move first. <laughs> I have this, guys. I thought you would never ask about my nails. Look, I even have Ben's box here. Yeah, zoom in. Wow. This is Ben's frozen bananas, which we're actually almost sold out of. <laughs> this is your final warning. I forgot to tell people, I apologize, um, but normally I will give people a low stock warning if it's like a special product like this one, but yeah, it's almost gone. But it lasted long enough to stay around for the Christmas launch, which was great, because I think people really like this kind of yellowy frosted metal for holidays or New Year's. Fake date, Fake date is also back in stock, yes. Because, oh, I didn't even tell you. Today we're starting our pre-Black Friday sales at Hollow Taco. So if you're subscribed to the email list, etc., you probably would have already seen it. But yeah, it starts today. You get one free, one coat black with the purchase of any Christmas collection set or bundle. any bundle. So like you want a, the Frosted Metals bundle, uh, which are already discounted, and then you also get the free one go black, or you want um, multi-chrome bundle, the nail files, blah, 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 any of the bundles, but yeah. Then I'm also wearing Choco Hollow on my other nails. That's the Brown Hollow. That's part of the Christmas collection. And then I, it's not really a gradient. I kind of just did this Happen stance. I was just kind of randomly like, what if I just added brown to the tip? So I just kind of painted it on and kind of faded it in. I didn't use a sponge or anything, just kind of did that by hand. And now it looks like it's dipped in chocolate. Dipped in Choco Hollow. Oh, some of the chat got their free black already. Awesome. Yeah. What's your favorite polish from the Christmas collection? I'm, I'm, I'm not picking a favorite. Um, but I'm really liking the brown right now. Hold on, let me put my flash on so you can fully appreciate. Wow. Okay, this is a nail stream now. I'm taking over the nail stream. Yeah. Without that flash to see the hollow. Choco Sexy Hollow. Wait, Ben, show your nails up close. You gotta do the hand pose. Show us your best hand pose. This is why you only hand modeled once. This is why there's only one picture of Ben on the Holo Taco website. <laughs> what it's animal a, is that? It's a snake. You see it? <laughs> ah. I actually really like the banana hacks on you. I don't know what it is, but yellow is really your color. I mean, you could have done a better job painting. I'm not gonna lie, like what what happened here? What happened here, Ben? What is this? How do my veins look today, chat? No, you <laughs> freak. Like these hands? You, you're a yellow snake. <laughs> <laughs> what did I join to? <laughs> okay, are you making me tea? Yeah, I'm making, I heard I'm the making kettle. you tea. Make me tea, we didn't talk about what's on my other hand. <laughs> Hold 
We've got Naughty List, wow. Which is also informally known as Jingle Hell, which is a red hollow glitter, but it's like a deep true red, and I love this one. Oh, there it is. Look at this one. It's fabulous. Yeah, from the Christmas collection. True ruby red. I'm very excited about this one because I know people have been asking for a true red. You see my phone background too? <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. <laughs> you can get those on the Holo Taco website too, by the way, for free. Our phone backgrounds. <laughs> Where's your tea? <gasps> My tea! What, what did you make? Wait, let me guess. Banana bread chai? Of course. Oh yeah, duh. <laughs> we didn't actually try it. Well, I've tried it. I mean, speak for yourself. So now we're gonna have tea to match our incoming, forthcoming banana bread chai muffins. So I'm having banana bread chai tea. This is your, uh, this is the amuse bouche in preparation for the banana muffin. I just love looking at tea. Like, look how fun you, how much fun you can have in a bag. You gotta suck on a tea bag. No. Ben, when are you playing Hollow Knight? What? <laughs> Oh, that's the game that Colette plays. April 1st, 2022. What? Oh. <laughs> I can never drink tea without milk. Me neither. Don't worry, I will be putting milk in. But I like to steep it first so that it it's hot enough in the hot water to steep and get all the goodies out. And then I'll add milk. Finally caught a Simply Bake Logical stream. Suck the tea. Suck on a tea bag. <laughs> Welcome, if you're just joining now, we've already made our banana bread chai muffins, not a loaf, because we're not that expert level, and they're sitting in the oven now, so we're having a tea break. Tea break. I will try sucking on the tea bag, if you don't. What? I'm curious, ever since that episode, I'm curious what it tastes like to suck on a tea bag. Okay, what if it's too hot though? Do you know how many people applied to the Carleton Scholarship? I applied. Oh. You did? Oh, I I have no idea how many applied because... No, no, no. No? They t I don't know if we're allowed to share oh. how many people applied I didn't, to it. I didn't see an email though, so I actually don't even know. We got an indication of how many people applied. Okay. But we don't know if we can tell. It's not really our right to share because it's a university level scholarship. It's not like just me in previous years where mm -hmm. I had an Excel spreadsheet of entries. You know what I mean? Like it's not like that. This is a formal institutional level thing. It's not like a crazy number because it was limited to one university, but enough yeah. people applied to it that the awards office was happy that they they got that. They actually got applications for it in a meaningful they way. They actually got one application, so they're happy. <laughs> they got enough applications to do it. To, to pick winners. Mm -hmm. They got enough applications to pick two winners. Well, it was open to every program too, eh? So. Yeah. No, that's cool. Thank you for applying. Good luck. I'm not picking, so. Use spoon to remove water from the tea bag. Oh, like pressing it? What kind of milk do you want? Um, oat milk. Love the mug. Thank you. It's on my pics page too. <laughs> tea or tea latte? Um, I'm just gonna have regular tea today. But with oat milk. Yeah, so how long has it been? Four minutes. There's a timer on my kettle that says how long, so you can use that to kind of figure out how long you've been steeping. Oat milk is the best. Yes, I know. I love oat milk. I'm not even like a dairy-free person, um, but I just really like oat milk. It's so good. <laughs> I mean, I just love oats, so I just, I'll take oats in any form that I can get them. <laughs> is this one new? Do you have an, a used one? It's still... What? No. No? Yeah, there's this one. Oh. It's already used. Don't open the other one. Don't smoosh the tea. Okay, Ben's gonna. Uh, ben has agreed to suck this tea bag. So if you're just <laughs> joining now, you're here for the best part. So I'm just gonna put it on this plate to let it cool off because we don't want him to burn his mouth. 
And we're just gonna let the tea bag cool for a little bit, and uh, that's the challenge for today. You know, never mind the cinnamon challenge. It's the suck the tea bag challenge. Um, <clears throat> we're 33 years old. Welcome to this channel. Oh, I didn't, it's my sister's birthday. <laughs> Why did you just think of that? Because I just thought of age oh. as a thing. Happy birthday, Jennifer. I didn't even text her yet. I gotta text her. Text her. Chat, tell my sister happy birthday. <laughs> I'm gonna see her after this, but let me, I'm gonna text Jen. <laughs> If she's she's not watching this, but imagine she's like, <laughs> she's like watch this. I have to send it with balloons. Balloons or confetti? Yeah, confetti. Okay, texted my sister. Thank you, chat. Chat is wishing Jen happy birthday. My sister is thirty years old. I just exposed her. Oh. Is that a hard year? She's 30, um, which is crazy because like my little sister is 30. She not so little anymore. <laughs> That's wild. I mean, I still feel like I'm 30. I feel like I've been saying I'm 30 years old for three years. After 30, I think I just stopped thinking about my age. All right, I've got my tea. Oh, it's so delicious. Jen exposed. Oh, to be 30 again. Mmm, wonderful. Give her a, a muffin. Yeah, we will. We'll bring her a banana. We're gonna bring her, we're making Shh, wait, this wait, just, no. for, just for you, Jen. Jen <laughs> hates bananas. Oh no, we can't bring it to her. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, Jen. We made your least favorite thing. Oh my God, fuck. We picked the wrong day to make this. Mm-hmm. It's why Jen and I don't get along. She hates bananas, I love bananas. I'll bring her her Christmas gift, or her, Christmas, her birthday gift. <laughs> what do you get her for her birthday? Hollow taco. <laughs> no, I'm just <laughs> kidding. I got her some other stuff too, but I always give her every hollow taco collection. Is this too hot? My baby sister is 36, lol. <laughs> yeah, we're still babies. Mm. You just went in there, eh? Yeah. <laughs> you want to try? You guys thought I was weird. You thought I had a problem with tea. I'm not sucking it on it after you sucked on it. It's like what chewing the same piece of gum. It's just like making out. We've never done that before. Ew, Ben! This is your tea bag! <laughs> stop! Oh my god, stop. Okay, except do one more time for the macro. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> What do you mean for the macro? Shove your head. You want some there. gratuitous? Shove your yeah. head in there and suck on a tea bag? No. Yeah. yeah, we need a close up. No. I'm not your monkey. I was willing to try it because you're too uh, too scared. Too scared to suck on a tea bag. You do get the taste. It's concentrated. A little sucky sucky. <laughs> You can't judge me anymore. You have no right to judge I'm me. I'm judging you for not being willing okay. to suck on a tea bag. I bathe in tea. I've done enough for tea in my lifetime. <laughs> I have done every, I have, <laughs> I have doused myself in tea. It was, it was okay. like, I don't need to do that again. It's not something I would do in the future, I don't think. <laughs> I'm gonna lick it. <laughs> Don't bite it. <laughs> I just, I, I kind of want to know how that Reddit poster feels, you know? Like, you're, if your life is at such a place where you're thinking about sucking on tea bags, what stage of life? You know, maybe I am there. Maybe my life is at the stage where it's time to suck on a tea bag and feel better. <laughs> oh, Christine, 
why it looks like a dead mouse. <laughs> Guys, it's a tea bag. It's fine. You're like a cat. <laughs> I am a cat. Wait, Menchie, do you think Menchie would want a little sucky? A little suckle? Menchie, where are the cats? I haven't watched you in months. Are you okay? <laughs> no. It's a long story. It's a long story. Um, oh my god, I bit through the tea bag. Guys, look. <laughs> Yo, I have vampire teeth. Sophia was right. Oops. I am I am basically a cat. I bit through that tea bag. Oops. What do we have here? It's not Halloween. It's the wrong season, Ben. The pumpkin boy. Tyler, would, would you like a tea bag? <laughs> All right, bye. He's sitting in the wrong season. He can't get into the Christmas spirit because he is kind of like the Grinch, you know? Where is Mechie? Is she in the holiday bed upstairs? She's in the street. Man, she's in the stream room? Oh no, we told her to come to stream, but she went to the wrong room. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I sucked the tea bag too hard. I broke it. <laughs> what are you making today? Um, uh, banana bread muffins. <laughs> we made a banana bread bonanza. Here's the, a recipe for anyone yeah. too lazy to click the link. <laughs> They're not gonna read that piece of paper, Ben. <laughs> they can read the piece of paper. Banana bread bonanza. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> the muffins are looking good. I'm not seeing any obvious burnage. There's about eight minutes left on the clock to hit 25 minutes. Did we put on a timer? Yes. Yeah. Hey look, Trees for Huggin says, I low-key love sucking or chewing on muffin tin papers after I eat the muffin. That, that is weirder than no, sucking no, no, on No, no, but a like, I feel like I've done that, but then the paper dissolves in your mouth. And you don't want that, right? Like you don't want to accidentally eat the muffin paper. Because yeah. if you lick paper, it will kind of dissolve and get wet and then it like breaks off in your mouth. How do you know? I ate Troom Troom paper once. I ate wrapping What's... paper at the instruction of Troom Troom and it got wet and soiled in my mouth. And then I learned, do not follow Troom Troom hacks, whether for Christmas or for life. I eat the paper. <laughs> not baking paper? Oh, because baking paper has like wax on it. One time I put wax paper in the oven. Don't do that. <laughs> do you remember when I did that? One of the mods said Troom Troom is so bad now. Yeah, we haven't- They changed the narrator. Yeah, Troom Troom really changed. <laughs> Troom Troom, you changed! No, and people are like, you, you, this YouTuber changed. <laughs> but like Troom Troom is just like not at all the same thing. Yeah, anymore. I didn't change, okay? Troom Troom changed. <laughs> they changed their narrator. I remember watching it on stream once, but then I was worried they would copyright me, so I stopped. But um, yeah, the narrator is not the same. Like what happened to the OG narrator? I think the last video you did on Troom Troom content, they kind of aggressively tried to claim to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, they did. Well, no, but it wasn't them. It was like a fake. Anyway, the last time yeah. Christine made a Troom Troom video, we went through a long process of trying to get someone to release a claim against that video. And we don't know if it was real Troom Troom or just someone fake, Troom Troom. fake claiming the video. I don't even know if Troom Troom is real at all. So it's kind of hard to say. <laughs> <laughs> Troom Troom now has Woohoo. Yes, I'm aware of that one. Ooh. Woohoo or 1234, they have another channel. Is Troom Troom doing streams? They would never because they then they would have to like reveal who they really are. It'd be impossible to disguise with all these quick scene changes and scripted and edits. I don't think they, I don't think they have the balls to stream. Trim, trim, my challenge. You're just <laughs> well, they just act like it's, it's, they're actors, right? There's no, uh, I was gonna say there's no talent. Like there, there's no, there, like, no, the, the there's no real actors. personality to Trim Trim. 
Yes. Like it's weird if you find the actors on social media and they're just like normal people with clearly with a just kid yeah and people <laughs> exactly. <laughs> they're people with like a family. You can find the Troom Troom people on social media and see that they are hu real human beings and not the blue-eyed girl. Check the muffins. They got check four it. minutes. Check check. Four minutes, everybody. Four minutes to save the world. Well, I need I need toothpicks. Do we have toothpicks? Oh, uh, they're in my nail room. Really? Yeah, for the toothpick trick. Uh, do I have Is that where the toothpicks are? Um, I think so. Do you need me to go office. find them? I'll find them. You won't know where they are. I'll go find them. <laughs> okay. Christine's getting toothpicks so we can see if the muffins are done. Put Menchi in the banana bed. We bought a banana bed for Menchi and she won't go in it. <laughs> Is Christine gonna be setting this recipe on fire like the, when she made the banana, bananas foster for me. I'm hoping Christine does not light this on fire. It smells pretty good in here, whoever asked that. Audrey Menchi is a girl boss. I don't know about that. Where is the hummus? Oh, you want to see my hummus collection while Christine's away? This is what we're working with these days. So I kind of like, I like this one, like as my daily hummus, but I kind of like the sunflower kitchen one. It's a little wetter in consistency. I like kind of uh, having them at the same time. Hum hummus gang. Of course. Well, I found toothpicks oh, and a Menchie. Oh, help. Menchie, settle down. Are you okay? I got toothpicks. <laughs> Menchie, can you like make her... S okay, there. She likes your shoulders better. <laughs> Mine aren't big enough. <laughs> hey girl, you want some banana bread? Boop. She looks so tired. Oh, I found her sleeping under the covers again. Like at the bottom of the bed. She goes underneath the duvet uh... cover so you like can't find her. She's a little, little squirrely and merly. Little Check butt. it with a knife. Little Menchie butt. Cover her butt. <laughs> okay, now what? Toothpicks. You brought the toothpicks? Yeah. I should be cleaning, but I want to finish this live stream. Okay, Megan is a bird. What, what if you cleaned and watched the live stream? There's probably like five minutes left still. They don't look done to me. I always watch live streams and do something at once. The other day I was watching um, footage of a live stream and I was also working on, uh, what was it, the podcast? Or maybe this was last week, I can't remember. But I was like doing two video things where both of them have audio sources at once and Ben came in and he was like, what the hell are you doing? Turn it off, turn it, it's too much, it's too much, I don't understand. Well, she was like, hey, watch this video I'm editing and tell me what you think about this. And she has a stream playing at the same time. Yeah. I can't, I don't know. How are you watching two videos at the same time? I, I don't know, I always do. As long as one of them has auto captions on at the same time, then I'm good. Loving the gold scrunchie, thank you. My, sorry, my hair is kind of messy, but. Um, yeah, let's give it another five. Scrunchy love. Why did you bring Mitch? Because, I don't know, I thought she wanted to hang out. You wanna take a look? Yeah, chat can't take a look though. We can bring chat along maybe. How? No. Take that camera on. Yeah, but they're all hooked up. You want to reach? No. We'll have to bring the, we'll have to bring this here. Okay, maybe I'll just briefly bring it out and show you. Careful, there's a cat on your shoulders, so don't open the oven with a menchie on your shoulders. Here, I'll just show people. 
I usually watch three streams at the same time. I know, I always have a bunch of shit on. Do you watch court live streams? That's what I was doing the last week, yep. All right, this is 25 minutes. Right? Ooh, man. That looks professional. But you know what? They're Wait, not. Wait, it doesn't look cooked they're enough. They're not cooked actually. enough. They need like okay. another five minutes. I mean, it's not. Pro it's unprofessional. It Put it back. <laughs> I'm like, it looks so professional. And then I'm like, oh shit. What do you mean they're not cooked? They look good though. Yeah, it needs probably another five minutes, right? But yeah, we'll check with the toothpick. You brought the toothpick? Yeah, that's what I was chewing on. We won't use this one. Simply ban the baker. Take us to the oven. We can't because you are attached to many cords. It's like you're plugged into the matrix, you know? And if we move your chair, all the cords are gonna get plugged out of the wall and then your mind is gonna get unplugged and you're not, no longer gonna be connected to the simulation. That's what would happen if we took you to the oven. <laughs> it's a risky adventure. You know, I'm not sure you'll survive. Chad, I don't think you're ready for the oven. <laughs> if we put you in the oven, that wouldn't be good news either. I don't think you'd survive that. Are you trying something with this you camera? You point it at the oven. Ooh, we could do this with the macro <laughs> camera. Oh, there you go. Okay, this is the best we can do. <laughs> Unplug me, lol. I'm willing to take the risk. Is the oven the metaverse? Yes. Inside <laughs> the oven uh, rests Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> Should have mics pointed away now, that's no good. Oh, our mics pointed the wrong direction. Okay, do we. Suck on the tea bag. <laughs> Nice Bosch oven. Oh, <laughs> what's a Bosch? I always heard Bosch is, is like car parts in my mind. Cause when I used to work at a car shop, we'd order like Bosch air filters or Bosch this and that. So yeah, I guess they make ovens too. Yeet me into that oven. No. Bosch is a higher end appliance maker, well made. Good to know, because we use a lot of this oven. I mean, it's no miele. Miel. 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 It says honey, right? Throw me in the oven. Okay, Chad needs to stop asking to go in the oven. <laughs> you weirdos. Okay, is it ready yet? Almost, it's almost it? ready. I want it to be ready! <laughs> Guys, the death of the tea bag. Someone said, is the David's tea perfect spoon a tablespoon? I don't know. Is it? I don't know, it's, all that matters is that it's an, as much tea as you need. Where's the tablespoon? Frigidaire is terrible appliances. I had Frigidaire appliances when I lived at the condo, so I know exactly what you mean. It's not terrible, it's kind of like the standard. This is a tablespoon. That's a perfect spoon. It's not quite a tablespoon, is it? Show me the side, side. I spoon, you have a spoon. <laughs> but I could fit, I'm the big spoon. I'm the little spoon. Yeah. So what is a perfect spoon? What's the measurement? Does it say? No, it doesn't need to say because all that matters, all that is relevant is that this amount of tea is what you need to make the perfect teacup. But is this just like a conspiracy by David's Tea to say like not a tablespoon, it has to be a perfect spoon that's like 80% of a tablespoon? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> You're like a child. What you it's a voodoo tea bag now. Yeah, who is feeling what you're doing to that tea bag? <laughs> I'm sorry, David. <laughs> Look, a perfect spoon is someone you love. Aww. Haley has the right idea. 
That's so sweet. Close. We're getting close. Are we close? Okay, we'll put the camera back on the oven for chat. No. Don't mind me, I'm just a child. I'm sorry, tea bag. Oh, here you go. Do not mess with the tea bag. What nail polish you have on? Naughty List, aka Jingle Hell. Or this one, if you have not seen. Put us in the oven. No. <laughs> I hope I win a Franken soap. Oh, from Sophia's video. <laughs> she, away. she should give one to me. Sophia, Sophia, <laughs> where's my soap? <laughs> I haven't seen her video yet. Is she is she giving away the soaps she made? She did that with her lipsticks, so it's possible. <laughs> Sophia puts us on the floor. It's true. Sophia puts them on the floor in her live streams. Oh. She just puts the camera on the floor. Do you guys want to be on the floor? <laughs> like, is it weird? <laughs> put the computer on the I'll floor. Put it on the floor. She is giving them away, people entered. That's cool. Frank and soap. I should enter. Put us in the oven. We want to see hell. <laughs> okay, show them the oven. Can you maybe take that camera close? Because it's not as tied up as this one. Maybe. We cannot melt the electronics. So we must be mindful of that. You need to hold this then. The mic? Yeah. Okay. But not too close or it'll be too loud. Who wants some ASMR? I have the mic and it's way too close to my face. Okay, now I can talk. What? Yep. Okay, that's the closest you can go though. All right, chat. Chat, you wanna go in the oven? It's can filthy. It, can it zoom in anywhere? No. <laughs> I mean, you could take it. But it can't reach. How'd you like that? Oh. Okay, we gotta put the mic back. We want in. Okay, chat is weird. <laughs> Close the oven. We closed it. Sponsored by Bosch, no. <laughs> from putting my face close to the oven for too long. I think we might be done. Are we done? Let's just say we're done. How about okay. that? <gasps> All right, clear the way. Make way for the grand finale we have made. So you got it's your so nice and glossy plain, <laughs> wow. plain row, your walnut row, your Christine's cocoa nib roll row, and which way? This way. The banana chips. They didn't even burn. Can we stab them with the toothpick? Yeah, yeah. Toothpick trick. Toothpick trick. Put put it down. 
Oh, it's gonna burn that. I can't put it down. It's gonna burn the counter? And what's the point of counters? <laughs> Here, I'll put it on the, uh... What? <laughs> what? It's gonna burn the counter, apparently. I don't want to put it directly on the counter. Okay, you gotta... put this beside it. Made with nail polish. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> okay. It smells good. Mm, yo, look what it did to this. It like looks good. It, it like caramelized the banana chip a little bit. It like sunk its soul into it. It like melted. Stab, so stab, stab into one. So does it come out clean? Comes out clean. Is, is that clean? There's like yeah. little bits on it. Should I try again? Try another one, yeah. I think it's clean, but like, I don't know. <laughs> hey, thank you. Good Guys, job, the Christian. chocolate chips didn't melt. How does that make any sense? It was so hot in there for so long. It takes a lot to melt. Chocolate, Maybe those right? aren't like real chocolate chips. Maybe they're like, you know, like not. They're like fake. There's like preservatives in them that prevent them from melting. I must see it. Where are you going? I want to see as we're putting them on the rack. As long as it's not gooey, but that's what I wanted. I wanted gooey. It's chocolate chips. They are plastic. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, what do we do? Do we take them out? Is it hot? Yeah, yeah, don't burn yourself. Did that work? Yeah. Whoop. You gotta keep the rows. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> it's like a Menchie toboggan. Wow, these look so professional. They look really yellow. Is that just because of the banana? <laughs> but like, is it just me or the lighting or do these look really yellow, like cornbread yellow? Cornbread. If anyone want, is wondering, granite countertops are safe to place hot pans, but marble isn't. Really? So what are these? I don't know. I don't like these counters though. What are these made of plastic? They stain. Whatever they are, they stain. It's bad. <laughs> Stab them. It smells. Oh, ow! Don't hurt yourself. That's hot. Okay, can we like cut one in half so we can eat it sooner? I mean, they're probably they're pretty squishy still. Well, is that good? I don't understand. Is that bad? Is that good? Can I just eat this banana chip? Go for it. <laughs> Rowan, yes, food from the oven is hot. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> you should bake a cake for Jen today. Mm, someone said, can we, well, we have, I'm baked out, okay. <laughs> yeah. Can we cut one in half so they can see inside while it's gooey and squishy? Yes. Sure. Let's cut a chocolate one open. All right, there's a Menchie hair in this one. No. Literally, look. Where? Right there. Menchie hair? <laughs> okay, we Do get it. Do you see it? it? We get it, we get it, we get look, it. Look, I picked it up. Okay, we get it, Christine. Do you guys want a Christine, Menchie we hair? we get it. <laughs> <laughs> Showing off our work. Okay, you want me to cut it? But it's so hot, I can barely touch it. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I'm, I'm opening the muffin seductively. <laughs> oh, yeah, buddy. Oh. 
<laughs> Guys, look at that good banana bread. I think that's cooked. Wow. You wanna lick that? You wanna lick that paper? <laughs> Suck on my banana bread muffin. <laughs> wow, it looks good. So now we can eat this one faster because it's uh Go for it. It's probably well, no, a it's, little. Well, no, it's too hot now. You're gonna burn yourself. You're gonna burn yourself. Ben, isn't that really hot? How are you not dying? It was so hot to even like touch with my hands. Hello? I'm, you... I'm eating. <laughs> Do you need milk? Do you need a glass of cold milk or water? The banana flavor is like a lot. Okay. Otherwise, I'm not super impressed. You're not impressed? Well, no. I mean like you made them. Why aren't you impressed? <laughs> Why, Ben? Why, are they, why don't you like them? Guys. They taste a little, a little flat to me. They need a little je ne sais quoi. Well, je ne sais quoi means you don't know what. Exactly, I don't know what they need, but there's something missing here. Yeah. I mean, I kind of like them because they're plain. They just taste like <laughs> banana bread. I think I was expecting the chai tea to add a lot of complexity to the flavor, and this really just tastes like banana bread. Yeah, I don't really taste the chai, you're right. But. People are saying it's the butter too, right? There's just so little butter in this that it really I don't like, adds a I lot. hate too much butter anyways. No, who, no one hates butter. I hate butter. I don't eat sticks of butter. <laughs> They, it's, they're not bad, Chad. They just yeah, kind of taste they're like- they're not bad. Ben is being incredibly judgmental. No, they just taste like banana muffins. Drama, you're trying to start drama. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, like, we set such a high bar. You know what bar. I want? I want this, okay. this like heated chip. Go for it. Yeah. I think we set such mm. a high bar with the blueberry scones, which were amazing, that it's just impossible to follow them up. Mm -mm -mm. We set the bar too high. Mm -mm -mm. Just add a glass of chocolate and make it all better. <laughs> <laughs> you know what we should have done? What? We should have waited longer in the oven. Yeah, just cook them more maybe. We should have waited longer. You could be right. We w listened to the wrong clock. <laughs> what does that help him? I forgot to use it earlier. I forgot to use the cat clock. <laughs> Wait, you have to follow it. <laughs> it's just my face. Wait, no wrong way. Shit. <laughs> Why are we backwards? <laughs> Okay, these are good. Ben is just being a little bitch. All They're right, fine. thanks so much for watching. <laughs> we'll see y'all later. <laughs> You're a gosh darn blueberry scone, you know that? Like is right, they might taste better after they cool down. Look, I'm gonna eat the paper. <laughs> Don't eat the paper. <laughs> I want a walnut. They are good. I mm. just want to tell people that walnuts were the right choice. I'm not a failure. <laughs> <laughs> I just want people to know they're good, but they're not like the best. And I think that's because I don't know, like you know, I'm not a baker. <laughs> Sometimes you know needs more cinnamon, vanilla, and salt. Maybe honestly, like I overload my smoothies with things like uh, like protein powder and salt, or not even salt, but um, cinnamon, vanilla extract, and things to like give something flavor. Oh. And and I think this didn't have enough like the, things to make it flavor. The cocoa nibs are not good, by the way. Why? Because they're so bitter and just crunchy. Mm. Mm -hmm. That I doesn't work at all though. Yes, it does.
You're bitter and crunchy. As part of <laughs> I am bitter and crunchy about You're you. You're a bitter and crunchy old man. <laughs> If you brown the butter, it will elevate it so much. What does that mean? Oh. Brown the butter? Browning the butter is you just... Uh, you cook it. In a bay you can brown the butter. Hello to my favorite mom and dad. Hi, Bella. You finish your homework? <laughs> <laughs> I love nibs and everything. Me too, cloudy girl. I put cocoa <laughs> nibs in my smoothies, so there's like a little bit of crunch left. I put them on oats, I put them on yogurt. I like put them on banana bread muffins apparently, and I would put them on salad if people wouldn't look down on me, you know? Cocoa nibs on salad. <laughs> Whatever. On any ice cream dessert dish, give me some cocoa nibs. Just a little cocoa nib bay. Little dash. Don't go yet, I'm enjoying the stream. Okay. <laughs> Did anyone bake along? Comment in the chat if you baked along and let us know how yours tastes. Yeah, I wonder if anyone else tries this recipe, I would, I'd be interested in knowing if they thought it was good. I think that you just need people who know how to bake to like appreciate how much of the key components you need to add. And we probably should have steeped that tea for much longer. Cause like any direction involving baking that says steep it for only five minutes, like I don't believe it. You can steep it for like an hour and it'd be way more saturated the flavor. Concentrated, Look, Selena, not saturated. Selena says, I made chili. I made oatmeal. Selena, how was the chili? How I, did it turn out? I made truffles, tr like chocolate truffles, or like the- Pig truffles. The truffles with the oil, like truffle oil? Truffle. Remember when you drank truffle oil? <laughs> <laughs> tell chat, tell them. We went to a fancy olive oil type place. There's a store to, that only sells olive oil. And the guy was like saying they had some really fancy truffle oil and he asked me if I wanted to do a, a tasting. A test, test Of taste. the truffle oil. So yeah. like it, he literally gave me a spoon of truffle oil to try. Yeah. And he's like telling me how amazing it is and I, I eat it. You. And I just thought it was so disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think you'd ever just spoon fed yourself truffle oil ever before, right? So like truffle oil is nice to like add a, like it's really easy to do too much truffle oil and that was never more apparent than this guy being like just try a spoonful of truffle oil but you were trying to like be composed and be like oh that's yes that's yeah. very nice so uh, yes i'll oh, take one yeah, bottle of each yeah. uh, yeah, i felt the, bad i bought it and yeah, then we walk out of the store and i'm just like spitting <laughs> for like the rest of the day you couldn't eat or drink anything because everything was like disgusting because your mouth was coated in this really intense truffle oil, I guess. And that's not how you're supposed to consume truffle oil. So people are noticing this isn't Fiji water. Maybe you got an Evian sponsor? Like, so I just wanted to- You uh, sold out, you sold your soul. No, I want to explain to everyone. Okay. I'm, I could walk everyone through this and give a bit of a TED talk, but Evian and Fiji are in my mind, you know, titans at the top of the mountain. They are the S tier waters uh, together. So, uh, you know, they, they so do different things. You're they are cheating on Fiji. They right have now? a different mouthfeel, but uh, ultimately Evian and Fiji are my top waters. So you lied to us when you told us Fiji was the best. <laughs> Look, I'll, I'll do my whole ranking if you want. Maybe that's a whole other stream. Yeah. Dasani. Okay, Ben will make his own stream Aquafina. on that. It will not be on mine. Boss. No, we are not sponsored by Evian. We're just, but that'd be hilarious because that's what people do sometimes. They're just like, you know, they love something, then all of a sudden they love something else that's a direct competitor because they're sponsored to do it. It's like someone saying Fiji water is trash, no beef. Like you're just wrong. The smoothness of Fiji water, the silica, makes makes it. Uh, it gives it that sort of mouthfeel. It's amazing. Like you can't deny that. I'm not talking about like the ethical, uh, the ethics of that company, but I'm drinking can't deny tap the water. quality of the water. I'm drinking tap water. Box water. I would rather suck on a tea bag. Okay, Ben, stop it. <laughs> Not Dasani. Yeah, I hate it. Dasani is a word. Doesn't it have, it's salt, salty, right? 
water ta tap, tap water, it depends where you are. Yeah, it's sort of, yes, it does depend. Well, I, this is basically from the tap, but we just put it through a, a, one of those filter things that you just leave in your fridge. Yeah, mo we mostly drink water just out of a Brita filter. Well, I drink water that way. You, you do this. Occasionally, I like to be fancy and treat myself to some bottled water. Okay, well, this is fancier. I would argue that this is way fancier. All right, have we um, have we achieved what we set out to do here today, which was bake banana bread chai muffins? Uh, case closed. They're warm on my eyes. <laughs> it feels nice. Oh my god! I just thought of a new hack. Fuck cucumbers. This is nice. I'm just gonna end the stream without Christine uh, knowing. No, <laughs> no, I have to talk to them. Okay, you wanna say bye? Thank, thank you. Thank you, mods. Um, ben was not moderating today, thank God. So thank the, the actual mods in the chat. <laughs> and I will see you guys, without Ben, on Wednesday. Wednesday? Wednesday? <laughs> like, I'm like, <laughs> will you? Will I? I don't know, you tell them. Yeah. I apologize that I have been non-committal. Um, <laughs> it has nothing to do with that. Wait, when are you streaming again? Wednesday, right? Okay. Because I'm going to start streaming twice a week. What are you doing Wednesday? I don't know yet. But death, like, and, death and taxes? It could be death and taxes. <laughs> it could be painting my nails with something. Um, I haven't decided. And that's kind of the beauty of what I would like to do moving forward. I just apologize. The last few months of my life have been you know, like okay. this kind of a mess. You know, it's like trying to suck a muffin out of a out of a muffin holder. So once I pull myself out of the oven, I will d confirm exactly which days I'm streaming. But my intention is to stream twice a week. And um, the next stream that I believe will be the case, but you'll see it's scheduled on this channel in advance to know for sure. But it'll be Wednesday at 5 p.m. Eastern my time, which is the same time as when I used to usually do Sunday streams. So the same time, but on a Wednesday. And then on Saturdays, I'm thinking I'll keep this time. So I have two time zones at least to you know make it a little easier for people from different time zones to be able to join in, whether it's the morning or the evening, whatever it is, opposite time zones. That's what I'm trying to accomplish. Yeah, and yeah. Christmas cookies. Okay, so I'm seeing recommendations Ooh. for, we definitely want to do a Simply Bake Logical for the Christmas season. Mm -hmm. Maybe some gingerbread house, maybe some Christmas cookies, maybe some peppermint uh, tea lattes. I could give a tutorial. Maybe matcha white chocolate brown butter cookies. Did you just make that up? <laughs> it's genius. <laughs> I'm like, what? How do you know this? What? <laughs> All right, everyone. Um, leave your comments and suggestions for stream ideas in our Discord. Excuse me. <laughs> bananas got to me. In our Discord <laughs> server. These bananas are making if me you, emotional. Yeah, if you weren't aware, there's a Simply Discord server. The link is in the video description box of all my streams, and you can join. It's free to join. And there's a stream dash podcast ideas channel where you can suggest ideas for streams or podcasts. And we could do like a live gingerbread house. Yeah. Destroying your house it would be live. Like a content house. He broke into my house live. Gingerbread content house. We could have like the influencers there. We could compete to see who's going to rule the house. So the sway house. The, the hollow house. Hollow house. Hollow house. Okay, yes. All right, everybody. Stay tuned for that. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see y'all later. Ciao. Mm-hmm. <laughs>